boys and girls. Are you ready to uh, light our Advent tree? We have to light two candles this week. It's the second week of Advent. Okay. Did you find your Advent sheet that we started last week? Did you find it? If not, if you misplaced it, that's okay. You can just watch me. Okay. This week, we're actually going to make our very own Advent wreaths that you can look at at home. Okay. But today, we're going to finish coloring this in after we light our candle. Okay. So remember, last week, we had one candle lit. And that was our candle. See it? Look, can you see it? And that was our candle for hope. Okay, that God gives us hope and that He gives us for, uh, answers our prayers. There we go. Okay, this week our second candle is another purple candle, and it represents peace. And it reminds us of the peace that God's love gives to us. Okay, so we have two candles. Let's see, I'm gonna turn this down so you can see it. You see the two candles lit? One, two. Now we have two other candles to light. There's a, the next week we'll light a pink candle and then the following week we'll light a purple candle. And then on Christmas day, you can also light a white candle in the middle, okay? So let's say our Advent prayer. Okay, that we started last week. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Four, three, two, one. Count the weeks till Jesus comes. Each week we add another light, our hope for Jesus growing bright. We pray, we share, we do our part to welcome Jesus to our heart. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay, so now... We're gonna finish, we're gonna color in. Move this over a little bit so you can see. Okay, so now we're gonna color in purple. Can you get your purple crayon? Because we lit another purple candle and we're gonna color the candle that says peace, which is this one in the front here. Okay, so I'm gonna take my purple crayon and I'm gonna color in the candle that says peace because that's what the second candle represents. It's the peace that we feel this time of year, knowing that God is sending us his, his only son to protect us. Okay, so we had the candle for hope, and now we have the candle for peace. Okay? Now, let's add, add in a little bit more color to our wreath here, okay? Do you see where it has the number five here up at the top in the key? The five stands for green. So anywhere we see the number five, we're gonna color green in here. And that's gonna be like the wreath part, like the part where the the, play, the pieces of um, evergreen tree are. That's where we're gonna color green, okay? So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna color in my wreath green. And I'm using crayon, using my green crayon. And we'll go through and color our green wreath. Do you see how I'm doing that? Now notice I'm not scribble scribbling, right? I'm going in little small lines back and forth, back and forth, making sure I color in. Whoops, I don't think I was supposed to color right there. That's okay. Making sure that I color in all the parts that say number five, staying in the lines. And like a wreath in the middle, see I shouldn't have colored that little spot right there. In the middle it's open, right? Because a wreath is a circle. It's love goes on forever and ever, just like Jesus' love for us. So we color the wreath in a circle all the way around. There we go. How's your hand doing? Is it getting tired? You're doing a good job. Back and forth. Each week on Sundays, my family sits down and we light our own Advent can uh, candles and our Advent wreath. And then we sit around the table and we think about different things that we can do to spread cheer throughout the holiday season. 
maybe that's something you want to do with your family. Do you have an Advent wreath at home? If not, we're going to make one this week for you, okay? So we've got our two purple candles, one for hope and one for peace. And then we're going to color in the number five, the green for the wreath. And actually, you know what else you can probably do right now, if you're not too tired, is take your red crayon and color in the number fours, which is, are the berries. So we'll color in the berries next. There are, no, I was gonna say four, but there's five, five berries. So that's all we will do for now. Next week, we'll color in our next candle, which will be our pink candle. And at the end of next week, we'll probably do the last one just so that we're ready for Christmas and we'll finish coloring in the rest of it, okay? So you can set that aside for now. Now, if you have it, if you misplaced this, that's okay. But if you have it, then keep it and we'll continue coloring it as the week goes on. As the weeks go on, I should say. Okay, there we go. Move this back up. So did you have a good day learning today with me? You know I did. Let me move this up so you can see my head. Um, tomorrow, if you can remember to look around your house and find letter K items, right? We want to bring our K items to share. I want to see what letter K items you can find. I saw lots of pictures and I got lots of messages with, K, uh, with J items last week from you guys and I loved that and I added it to our list that we hang up on our wall of all of our letter, our letter um, show and tells. So I want you to come up tomorrow and try to find some K things, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing, and then we can add, our, add to our list as we go, okay? All right, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Let's end with our prayer, okay? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, boys and girls, I will see you tomorrow. Okay, don't forget letter K says, K kick. Teach your brothers and sisters and moms and dads and aunts and uncles and whoever you're with about the letter K. Okay, and go for your letter K hunt, and I will meet you back here tomorrow where we can share. Okay? All right, bye-bye.